this out. Stainless steel coffee percolator. This is made by Coletti's. It's a, a veteran owned company in America. FDA food grade standard. I've been using a regular coffee maker for a long time now and I thought it was time to get a percolator. I've been wanting one for a while. All profits to charity. When my great grandparents immigrated from Italy uh, to the Bronx to open their groceria, they brought with them the love for coffee. Look at this. Josh and Katie. They've actually got a little video on how to use this. And I too am going to make a little video on how I'm going to use this. Let's see what's inside the box. Let's get this bad boy open. Okay. Little filters. Anything else in there? Nothing. Look at this. Card on how to use it. Fantastic. We've got add water, add filter, add coffee, add assembly. Next, add heat, monitor, enjoy, watch their instruction video. Hey, I saw that video. Boom. Let's see what's in this thing. Nice, you can even see me in it. Sorry. So, about the only thing that I've read on almost every single percolator review is that these fail. They're weak, they fail, and most people end up replacing the plastic ones with glass, which to me seems like a very smart idea that all of these tops should be glass since you can always clean them thoroughly. This feels like glass. Definitely doesn't feel like plastic. That's awesome. What else is in here? Nothing. Okay. Now, that's the unboxing. Beautiful little... Alright, that's all nice and snug. Got these little filters. We are going to make some tasty yummy coffee. This is how I make coffee every single morning. Fill it in a coffee pot, let it drip. Weekends, this is how I like to enjoy my coffee sometimes. And now, I've got a coffee percolator. I've got everything out. Don Francisco, this is the coffee that I've been drinking for probably going on about five years. I absolutely love it. We're going to make our percolated coffee today using the instructions at hand. This is a nine cup percolator. I am going to just do what I normally do every single morning. I'm going to dump that amount of water in. It's not filtered, it's straight out of the tap. Some of you might go, oh gosh, that's so gross. I like the taste of my tap water and I like the taste of my tap water inside my coffee. Let's go ahead. The instructions first say add water. That's what we're going to do. Boom. Look at that beautiful thing. Now I guess you can see the little cup markers on the inside. Look at those little dots so it can get steam out. Well, let's go ahead. I am a lefty. And get our water inside. Alright, we've added what I normally have every morning. Now, when I fill this to the rim and it percolates, it actually ends up being just a hair above the five. And that's what I do every single morning. So, this is how much water. It's about halfway full, so this actually could be, you know, nine normal, good old-fashioned American cups of coffee. Not those five-ounce cups that everybody seems to think is an actual cup, which I think is what these are. Five ounces. They're terrible. Horribly small size cups. So we've added water. Now we're going to add our filter. i got my son standing next to me, making weird sounds. Go ahead and take one of those paper filters out, boy. That paper filter is going to go on the inside, just like that. All right, next is add coffee. If grinding your own coffee, use the coarse setting. So I'm gonna use Dan, Don Francisco, and since we did five cups, we're gonna do five heaping tablespoons. I'm gonna do this because we can just hold this up at an angle. Hold the can at an angle, turn it more. Boom, one, two, 
three, four, and five. All right. The coffee is away from this little piece here where I would be afraid, and it didn't look like I got any coffee grounds to fall inside, which is, I guess, one of the common things people worry about. That's why they don't do this process while it's inside the water. We've added our coffee, add the assembly. I guess that just means put the lid back on it. The lid is on. Add heat. I guess we're just going to put it all back in since that's probably the correct thing to do. It's all in. Feels good. All right, add heat. And the back burner. Hi. Turn your stove on low. Turn your stove on low to medium heat and place the percolator on the heating element. All right. We'll go to just a, a hair past medium. How's that? And then monitor and enjoy. I'll be back when this starts percolating and uh, go from there. It took 20 minutes for it to start percolating on my stove. I did end up, when you saw that I had started, I was just a hair on the low side of medium. Now I'm a hair on the high side of medium. 20 minutes. At 13 minutes was when I adjusted it. That will, um, I'm gonna have to figure something out there because waiting 20 minutes in the morning for this thing to percolate. Now I've got to wait seven to 10 minutes. What? Now that it's percolating, we've got the timer set. Seven minutes. Begin. We'll let it go like that. Maybe now that it's percolating, I'll go back down a little bit. Dang. There we go. I'll be back in seven to ten minutes. And we'll we'll be ready to to taste some Don Francisco vanilla nut coffee. So this has been percolating for seven minutes. We'll go ahead, turn it off. Look at that. Still percolating. It smells so great. Definitely smells better than when I cook it in the morning. Nothing's coming out over there. Still percolating. As this percolated, I did put a filter in before we started. I have seen maybe four coffee grounds up in this glass bulb, and they just pop up and disappear. Obviously, they're getting rinsed back out. I'm gonna be curious to see how well the paper filter does. I've uh, heard a few things that you should always have some kind of paper filter inside your coffee while brewing. Something to the effect that it uh, captures some kind of oils that are in the coffee that aren't so good for you. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Maybe I'll look it up and put a link to an article inside uh, this video somewhere. We'll see. But for now, what I've done is I've turned off turned off the burner, and I'm going to just let this sit here until it's done percolating, and then pour myself a nice, tasty cup of coffee. Can you hear that? I wish you could smell it. This Don Francisco coffee. How I found out about it, our sweet bay in Florida was closing, and they had everything on sale, clearance or whatever. So going in, I saw this, it was on sale for like 99 cents a can or something like that, regularly $6.99 a can. I was like, well, man, this probably might be some good coffee, it's $7 a can. I will uh, pick it up and try it. Bought one can, took it home, made a pot in the French press, tasted it, and was like, oh, this is awesome. Went back to Sweet Bay, bought, I don't know, all 10 cans or something like that. Now, after Sweet Bay closed, they were bought up by they were bought up by Winn Dixie down where we live. Winn Dixie didn't start carrying the Don Francisco, and we had to get it from Publix. And anytime they have the vanilla nut on the shelf and we're at the store, I buy all of it. Normally it's anywhere between five to eight cans at a time. Just the other day we were at Winn Dixie and Winn Dixie had two cans of the vanilla nut, so I purchased those two. It's just about done. I've got a cup of hot water here. I always preheat my mugs in my coffee cups because I always feel if you dump hot coffee into an ice cold mug, when you put creamer in, it's kind of pointless. You know, then it's just too cold. This percolator has a nice, beautiful wood handle. Lots of people compliment it. And then has this metal knob on the top. During the pouring process, some of the complaints online have been that you have to hold this closed and you got to wear a mitt and that kind of gave them a four star instead of a five star because of worrying, being worried about getting burned. I've got another mitt. Uh, whether this ends up being an easy process or hard process, we'll find out. It's still got a couple little bubbles going. I'm really excited and want to just go ahead and start pouring this. As I pour it, I will hold it just to see um, 
you know, this is a little bit lighter. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. A little bit lighter than I normally drink when it goes through the coffee, the percolator, when it goes through the drip process. All right, it looks like it's about done. Now, I'm a lefty, so I've got my thumb holding this up. I've got oven mitt in hand, thumbs holding the tab, so that way the lid doesn't come up. And Reagan's going to hold the cup for me. Let's see, as we're pouring, oh, that is luscious looking. Don't see any grounds. Nothing, 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 nothing. And that is one steaming cup of delicious looking coffee. Well, there's a little bit of oils on the top. Maybe those do come out with it or not. I'm going to go ahead and open this lid. Let's find out how hot it is. Yeah, it's probably a little too hot to pour the entire contents. There we go. Now, oh, still gushing a little bit. It's like, hey, don't forget about me. There's just a little bit of grounds on the top catch. A couple of grounds on the lid. Oh, it looks good. Now, I watch a guy also, and the reason I wanted to get the percolator, I watched this guy, Cowboy Kent. He's like this little cowboy cooking guy, and he was doing cowboy coffee. Now, I've wanted a percolator for a long time. After watching the, the cowboy coffee video, I was like, I just need to get a percolator. Just, just got to do it. So I'm thinking... From start to finish, if I put the stove on medium, this stove, my brand new Frigidaire, I'm going to have to set the timer for a half hour, put it on just a hair under medium, and let it go. And that shouldn't you know, be enough time. Obviously, I'll need to practice with timing. That way, I don't burn the coffee or overcook it or undercook it or whatever. Now, I'm going to go ahead and taste this without creamer. Creamer is the only way I drink it. I don't drink it with sugar. Here we go. Smells good. It doesn't have doesn't have really a burnt taste smell to it at all. It's hot as hell. Mm. It's a little more acidic than normal. That's probably my only notice. Just a little bit more acidic than I'm used to. But I mean, I'll, I guess I really don't drink it straight without creamer too often. Okay, I'll add creamer, since that's the way I'm used to drinking it. That's it. It's all gone. I need to fix them up for it tomorrow. That's amazing. I love it. I guess the creamer gets rid of some of that acidity that I'm used to tasting. Okay, that was it. This was my unboxing and first use of the Coletti percolator. I'm very satisfied. Obviously, first time. Will I have to adjust my morning routine? Maybe only slightly. Will I stop using the French press? I don't know. Will I stop using a percolator? I'm going to try percolator. The drip. I got this bad boy. This is my third one maybe from Walmart. That was from this morning. They're 10 bucks. That's just enough coffee for me in the morning. It says five. I fill up uh, a travel thermos and have a glass of coffee. This, I have this and then a 16 ounce Stanley mug that I fill up and take to work with me. And that's the whole pot. This thing says five cups max. I get one cup of coffee and then a 16 ounce little thermos. Really to me, that means it's three cups because the 16 ounce, two eight ounce glasses, you know. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I've convinced you to go back to old fashioned percolating coffee. Do you need a, do you got to stand in front of it for a half hour every morning? Is it going to waste your time? No. You come, you put everything in just like you would a regular drip style. Put the coffee in, set your timer. Maybe it might take a couple of days to figure out what you need to do as far as your timer goes. Once you figure that out, Boom, you got a new regular routine in the morning. Shouldn't impede, shouldn't impede too much on your daily life. All right, you guys, uh, I'll give you an update. 
maybe you know six months or whatever and we'll see if I still like it or if I'm still using it and go from there ciao guys I did want to do one last thing it only took a couple of seconds I mean this thing's not hot anymore it's not unbearably hot I made my coffee look so much I've drank it hasn't been very long I'm going to dump the contents of this That's all that's left. What a shame. I'm gonna open this back up. I want to take the contents out and see how many grounds got into the bottom of the canister. This is gonna be so hot, I have a feeling already. Son, can you get me a paper towel? It's not devilishly hot. Here we go, I've come out. Whoa, I got every last drop out of there. Holy crap. Now, those little coffee grounds right here, I think, just came off the edge. See, there's a little bit of waste coming through. There's a little bit right there. Wow. I wonder if I would have kept this on much longer. We would have started getting coffee into the... But that looks nice. Nothing really in there. And all in all, I seem to think this was a success. There wasn't much spillage, and what's out here could have been from me just now, pouring my coffee. So, here we go, Coletti, these guys. Hey, Coletti, why don't you start making this thing in America? And then you can say, veteran-owned and made in America. That'd be awesome, you think? Ciao. I want to give you an update on this percolator here. So, you're watching this all in the same video. I made the last video almost a year ago, and I have been using this Coletti percolator for almost a year now. Outside, it's still beautiful. Like I said, when I watched the uh, the cowboy cooker guy, when he made his coffee, he said, never clean out the inside of these. Just let, let it all do its thing. So I'm going to show you what the inside of my percolator looks like after a year. Here's the lid. It's just, uh, you know, this side's nice and shiny. This side's got a little bit of brown tint to it from the coffee staining it for a while. My basket. Bottom's a little dingy looking. You know, it's just not as polished, shiny as it was before, which to me is okay. The spout. This has probably got the worst. I'm sure there's been a couple times where I might have let the coffee sit just a wee bit too long. But, anyhow, that all looks good there. Down inside. It's just dark. Let's see if I can turn on my flash. Ooh, yeah. That's it, as far as staining goes. Now... Outside, it still looks good. Bottom looks great. It's all still nice and thick. I cook with this every single day. This is my preferred method. I've gotten rid of my percolator, or I've gotten rid of my drip coffee maker, and I haven't used French press since this. I haven't changed my ways of making coffee since I started using this all that much. I am using regular coffee filters. I just take a pair of scissors and I trim off the top. We're going to go ahead and make a pot. And I will show you a couple of other tips that I do now. When I fill this with water, I fill it with the hottest water that comes out of my tap, which is pretty hot. So I fill that with hot water, I put the stove on high, make everything, and you'll see. Let's go ahead and just do that. In here, I filled up with the hottest water that I gets to come out of my tap. And while I do all the rest of this, I put the stove on high. This is one of the ways that I've used to speed up everything. I take the lid. That goes on there while you do this part. And as far as my morning routine goes, the assembly's on here. I've got my tray. I'm going to take one of these coffee filters. And I just center it right up. Pop it through. And a lot of times it goes in just a tiny bit smoother. With this all up. My coffee grounds. Now, you know, you're supposed to put the number of tablespoons per cups that you make. I just kind of fill to about the same area every time. Get it, make sure it's kind of level. Take the scissors 
and you know any scissors will do but these I can just put in the cabinet nobody messes with them at least they're not supposed to bam that's all now I've got a perfectly sized filter right uh, just a little bit more coffee the percolator has been sitting on the stove on high you can almost hear it start to, to sizzle that's done everything's together voila still using Don Francisco my favorite coffee in the whole wide world we're going to let this sit a lot of times when I'm getting ready for work in the morning I put it on high until I get ready to walk away so everything's put up the spoons there ready it's on high I'm gonna switch it to low all right guys I'm back the coffee is percolated for all of its percolating needing time and first thing we'll do is see how much how many grounds got in the top not too terrible today all right remember in the beginning of the video I had this big oven mid on trying to hold the lid down I've kind of figured out my own thing now I just take a spoon put it on the lid and pour look at that beautiful coffee oh my goodness so this is my my presidential cup that my wife so lovingly got for me so I just fill whatever amount in there I put about a quarter of a cup of coffee creamer in because I like my coffee creamer and so since it's not filled up to the top I'll just go ahead top it off and that is my percolated coffee this is definitely my favorite way of enjoying coffee now I don't foresee myself going back to any other method this will be it um, as you can tell not much coffee up here that's still too hot to pick up so there's not many coffee grounds in the bottom I don't get coffee in my grounds in my in my cups uh, almost rarely maybe if I had the temperature turned up a little bit too high I'll get some coffee grounds in there but other than that percolated coffee far superior than drip coffee I prefer it even to the French press only because it's all just one unit you know you just put it all together bam done taken care of so if you've been considering getting a percolator or just curious I definitely think it is the superior option especially if you want to have just the slightly more control over your coffee you know French press same thing you put everything in the French press and you can just let it sit for as long as you want but it's cooling down the entire time here I can set it in pick a temperature as long as it's not oh, boiling over and exploding the top off I can adjust a low temperature and let it cook as long as I want as long as there's water in there it's just gonna get richer stronger you know make it a little bit more bitter the longer you leave it but I have a lot more control over what my coffee is going to taste like each morning and again I think that is a definitely option this Coletti coffee I got it on Amazon it's fantastic I absolutely love it so I hope you've enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed my review I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy myself a nice tasty cup of coffee so good ciao guys